Welcome to the Marg Experience. Um, this is a show built for agents and for, for the brokerage. But this is a show where we want to highlight mm-hmm. what you agents are doing for for the El Paso community, um, for the families that you serve, for the mm-hmm. families that you service. Mm-hmm. Um, so tell us a, bit, a little bit about yourself. Well, um, I've been in El Paso for almost three years now as an agent. I'm also going to be an agent for almost three years. I'm originally from California. Um, reason that I started real estate, especially here in El Paso, is because I saw the need, the need for the community to be working with somebody that is professional, that they can trust, that they can be with, right? And they can trust with one of the biggest purchases that they'll ever have. Okay. Um, so with that being said, you know, I, I take very much pride of what I do. I love being with you. I think having you as a broker, is, it's been a huge learning experience for me. Um, but yeah, no, what I do is pretty much I help people, you know, with buying or selling their house and I try to make the, the, the transaction as smooth as possible, as hassle free as I can. Um, I also specialize with military. So majority of my business comes from the military community, which is something I'm beyond grateful with, you know, that I'm able to serve and give back to those who are serving our country, you know, so um, it's been it's been a roller coaster. It's been kind of crazy at times, but I've enjoyed every single minute of it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that sounds like that was one long sentence. Let's Sorry. go ahead and break that up a little Sorry. bit. Sorry. Um, just kidding. <laughs> so what you do, you, you say you sell real estate. Correct. You've been in El Paso for three, the better part of three years now. And yeah. you've also been an agent for those three years. Yeah. Um, before El Paso, where, where did you live? Um, I was in Austin. My husband is in the military. So we move or PCS as we call it you know we change duty stations every three years okay so I was near the Austin area um and and before that I was in Georgia before that I was in Colorado and so far and so far okay so I mean that that's great so you've been around the country um like you called it PCSing for for those of us that don't know what PCSing means mm-hmm. what, what what is that um it is permanent change of station okay Okay. so that's what pcs means um and what it is is that every three years you you get to change duty stations you get to change where you live right um so for instance, like I said, you know, we were in Colleen or Fort Hood near the Austin area. After my husband's contract ended in three years, then we we got relocated to um, El Paso. Okay. Yeah. And and what are some of the big differences that you notice? I, I mean, from coming from that Colleen Fort Hood area mm-hmm. to the El Paso area, um, give me some pros. Well, pros. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I think that. El Paso is more of a family-oriented type of town, you know? Um, You don't see that a lot in big cities, (laughs) at least not in Austin. Um, The other thing is that, you know, how much the growth of El Paso, you know, El Paso that I've seen since I moved here, you know, a lot of people... I, at least for me, before moving here, people were telling me this was a little town that had nothing to offer, right? Like mm-hmm. literally donkeys in the side in the streets. Okay. And and just moving here, seeing the growth that El Paso has had, you know, and and how different it is, you know, compared to what people think El Paso is, you know. So I I love that I've seen this growth. In, in El Paso, not only not only on with houses or businesses, you know, it's just people moving here, right? That we're seeing that a lot. Okay. Um, and it's not only military; it's a lot of people. You know, I have clients that come from Chicago, client clients that came from California, you know, stuff like that. So I love El Paso because it's a it's a Spanish community. I'm Mexicana, I'm Mexican myself, so I feel like I'm at home. <laughs> Okay. Um, which is something I've never had before. So, yeah. Well, that's good. That's good that you you have you feel like you're at home. You feel yeah. like you connect well. Um, you also mentioned that you have an extensive um, background in helping 
military families. Um, tell us a little bit about what you do when it comes to helping these military families or, or yeah. why do you think you have the expertise mm -hmm. to help. If, if I'm a military family that is going to be stationed here in El Paso, mm -hmm. why should I contact you versus any other agent in El Paso? Yeah. Well, I can tell you from my own experience, you know, before I bought houses on, on different duty stations that we've been in, right? So having somebody that you can fully trust, because most of us military, like I said, we don't have the chance to go look at the new location and see what the market is or what the community is like, right? So we have to work with somebody that is knowledgeable on what they're doing. And not only that, that you can trust them. You know, I always tell my clients that I'm their boots on the ground right okay. people like our lifestyle is completely different than civilian lifestyle yeah not only because we move we move every three years it's because a lot of us don't have any family we don't have anybody that that we can fall with you know or trust with our needs and on the next place that we go to so you have to kind of become that family member right to be able to trust that person that they're going to represent your best interests that they're mm -hmm. going to be there for you right i always tell my clients don't work with somebody that just wants a paycheck i mean obviously we all want to get paid i want to get paid but at the end of the day it's all about being able to serve others right like i told you at the beginning serve the ones that are serving us now and in our country so for me i always tell people work with somebody whether it's me or another military military relocation expert is working with somebody that you can trust that knows the area and most important that knows our lifestyle that knows our lingo you know things like pcsing etsing mm -hmm. what the bah is these are things that most civilian realtors don't understand or they don't know right mm -hmm. um yeah, everybody can can assist the military family, but I under, understanding our lifestyle, our lingo, where we going, knowing the duty station, knowing what you know, where you need to report, um, the the station where your husband or your wife is gonna get you know relocated to. All of those things are things that, as a military person or a military family member, I have. I have kind of like that similarity, you know, to to who you who you, who you're going to be working with. So um, it's not just a transaction, you know. It's not just a paycheck. It's just being able to be there to really truly serve those who have served us. Well, that's great. That's definitely something a big plus, like you said. Um, somebody who's going to be coming to the El Paso area through their PCS, um, yeah. their PCSing, as you, as you said it earlier. To the El Paso area, it's definitely great to, to have someone like yourself that they can trust, that they can work with, that has done... I mean, I'm assuming you did it yourself when you first came to El Paso, right? Yes, absolutely. Were, were you a realtor in that in the Austin area? No. Or this is in El Paso? Like, once you got here... I you started became... my class. I started doing all of the process in Austin, um, but it wasn't until I moved to El Paso that I decided to take my, my, my licensing testing and then become a realtor. So I came here with nothing, like not knowing anybody no family members it was just like going to a new duty station mm -hmm. with a new career oh that's great yeah that's great and and it's a good thing that you've um you've really you know landed on your feet yeah. um as as an agent you did really really good I, I recall you were with me um your first year in real yeah. estate and and you did really really good um for those agents like yourself that are mm -hmm. coming to el paso from maybe a different state city mm -hmm. um and are becoming agents in El Paso for the very first time. What does it mean to find the, the correct brokerage to you or, or to these agents? What should it mean? What should they be looking for? Yeah. What are some tips that you can give being that you've been on that side? You've been the eight because yeah. a lot of agents, they go to a brokerage because I have three or four friends there mm -hmm. or I have a yeah. family member there or, yeah. you know, but you have yeah. nobody when you came here. What? What do you think helped you make the decision to join this brokerage and mm -hmm. um, how's that turned out for you? Yeah. Well, I don't know if you recall before I came to Marg, I was I was with another broker, which gave me a lot of promises. Right. 
Um, at the end of the day, it, for me, what mattered, what, what felt right, you mm -hmm. know, who has the knowledge, who's going to be there for me when I need it, right? Um, I'm a very hands-on person. I, I, I don't believe that I need to have somebody holding my hand, which there's nothing wrong with wanting somebody to hold your hand, right? But I kind of wanted to be a little bit independent. However, be able to feel comfortable to come to my broker if there's any issues so or I have any questions, right? So marketing is also a big thing for me, right? Coming from nothing and not knowing anybody, mm -hmm. the first thing that you need to focus is on marketing yourself, putting yourself out there, you know? And if you have a company that does not have the marketing material that is gonna help you grow, then then that's something that probably is not gonna work for me, right? I remember meeting with you and you were very straightforward, but very honest on what you guys had to offer. Um, and, and after meeting the team and the group, I always tell people that's the reason why I also came back, right? I left and I came back is because you guys are my family. You guys are my people, you know, um, I don't, I don't like you holding my hand, but at the same time, I know that if I need anything, you're a call away and you mm -hmm. will answer and you will be there for me. You know, there's been instances that I've called you Saturday or a Sunday and you're right there, mm -hmm. right? Um, so for me, it was not that hard after meeting with you, after talking to you, after you telling me really honestly what you guys have to offer. Marketing was some point. I mean, everything that, you know, from our CRM, which, you know, is where we keep all of our data, data, I mean, and then <laughs> all of that stuff. Yeah, my, my Spanish just came out. Right. Um, so yeah, no, it was it was not difficult for me to to be able to click and connect with everybody here. Yeah, um, having the expertise and the ex experience that you have and the people that are in our team have because we have great great realtors here in Amari. Mm -hmm. Right, there's experience there. There's time. Um, so just learning by being around you guys, seeing what you guys were doing is what kind of helped me to, to move forward and put myself out there and, and not so be shy about like, what am I supposed to do or finding myself in the limbo? Yeah. Right. Definitely. Yeah. Um, yeah. as an agent, what do you, do you believe, do you find value in the fact that we are the exclusive listing agent for one of the top builders in El Paso, which is Point Homes, or what do you, what do you think of the Point Homes product? Absolutely, 100%. When I first became an agent, I knew I wanted to work with, with the builder. I wanted to learn the ins and outs of what the building process is, and what because it's, it's different. Buying a resale home is completely different than buying a new construction home. I mean, coming from contracts to everything, right? What they have to offer, incentives. Uh, home warranties, all of those things that real estate school does not teach you, right? Mm -hmm. So I wanted, I knew I wanted to be with a builder. Coming coming to Marek and knowing that you guys were representing one of the most premier builders here in El Paso, it, it's like, you know, it was easy for me. Um, the product that we have when it comes to point homes and I sell, that's another beauty about being with Marek, that we're able to go ahead and sell different 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 builders, right? Yeah. But you're able to see the product of each builder. And I'm not putting anybody down or anything like that, but you see the difference on builds, right? You see the difference on products. I mean, Point Homes has top of the line, at least for me in, in what I've seen, it has top of the line builds, top of the line homes, you know, yeah. just from features to styles to floor plans. Um, you name it, you know. So yeah. yeah, it was it was a huge, huge reason why I also choose Marek for so sure. That, that I mean, that's that's great to hear, and, yeah. and it's great to hear it from an agent, like you said, brand new agent um, doesn't necessarily know a lot of people in El Paso, but you looked for a brokerage that was properly aligned with what you wanted in, with, with your goals, mm -hmm. and you also seeked a brokerage that had the support or that partnership with a builder to help you um you know succeed get different clientele 
um, because you know from sitting with the builder you can always get the, that catapults you to yeah. being able to list someone's house whether yeah. they need to upgrade they need to downsize so you get both ends of the deal right Absolutely. you have you help them on the purchase side you help them on the listing side so that's definitely something that that yeah. uh, i know that a lot of our agents really really enjoy yeah um yeah uh so if if anybody out there wants to get in contact with you and they yeah. want to you know they're 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 seeing you on instagram and they're clicking on your profile what is where is um where can they contact you well you guys can always contact me at diana at mario ayala dot com or mario dash ayala dot com or okay. 512-520-7636 that's the best way to reach me it's definitely an austin number you know i didn't change my number but yeah 512-520-7636 awesome yes. well diana i want to thank you very much for taking a little bit of time out of your thank busy day you. to come sit with us and chat with us and um I wish you nothing but the best out there. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate you all a lot. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.